welcome back to my channel so I really felt like just doing a very simple vlog tonight um, because this week I've spent a lot of time filming other stuff not for my channel necessarily I'm afraid but for other other life things and um, because I did a lot of filming and editing this week I wanted to just create something very simple and sort of back to basics for you guys this weekend so I hope that's okay for you um, so the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is um, normally as I'm sure you might have noticed is that I keep my sort of YouTube life and my real life and sort of well, real life real life and work life kind of separate and I've done that ever since in the beginning of my channel a couple of years ago but recently I worked on a film that I really enjoyed and was really quite proud of with um, a good friend of mine and um, I kind of wanted to share it with you guys if there's any of you out there who'd be interested in watching it um, it's quite short um, and I'm acting in it and a good friend of mine wrote it and directed it and shot it and edited it and everything um, and it's called Sally Braben Portrait so the link to that is in the description box below watch it and let me know what you think um it's also like incredibly hot in manchester which is completely surprising <laughs> um especially because it's only just gone june and normally it doesn't get like really warm till july but we've been quite lucky um so we had like a week of like scorching hot where it was like 28 degrees 26 degrees um which is a lot for this this part of the country um and then now it's set to rain for six whole days so you know you get a little bit of goodness and then a little bit of uh payback from the weather weatherlands um but you know i'm cool with that because i i quite like uh like summer rain i think it's really nice um because it's so warm and you don't mind it and the sound is very relaxing and like you know if it's hot inside and you can hear the rain outside it's really relaxing more so than um, winter rain, I think, personally. But that just might be me. I'm wearing this cool t-shirt today. So if you can tell, it's like, um, it's like a, like a, a print with a tux that's open with like the bow tie undone underneath. It's quite graphic. I really like it. It looks quite cool. Um, it's a nice sort of play on wearing something smart but then he's still wearing a t-shirt really <laughs> which is cool so this weekend I've relaxed a lot because I've been very tired and uh, so what did I do I oh if you follow football it's the Euros on at the moment in Europe and um, so I watched the Russia v England match on Saturday uh, which is yesterday if this is still going up when I think it is um, which was alright I'm, I'm not the hugest fan of football but um, I can get into it if I'm watching it with good company <laughs> um, and I don't, I don't know, I always feel like the World Cup and 
the Euros are a bit more exciting than your normal sort of championship and premier premiership but matches I don't even know if that's the right terminology but I think you know what I mean um, so that was quite nice um, I just slept a lot and I've been reading Gone Girl at the moment have you ever read it? I'd never read it before I'd seen the film before and I wasn't a huge fan of it um, and then a friend of mine said that it was really good and that the film's very very good I mean that the book is very very good and the film is like a bit eh and he let me borrow his copy so I've been reading that this weekend um, which has been nice uh, I really like thrillers at the moment it's it's not so dark um i really like like very dark thrillers um like if you've ever read the asylum by johan theorin um the quarry by him too but um it's kind of it's not as dark it's more of i guess a psychological thriller in a sort of slasher-esque unknown demon kind of thriller but I find those kind of books very compelling and they give me that sort of can't put it down vibe so I've been reading that uh, it's quite quite a long book actually I'm about halfway through yeah, it's quite, it's quite long, it's pretty thick, it's like an inch and a half or an, just over an inch kind of thickness, um, but, you know, got time, it's fine, I'll just keep going. Um, I've been a kind of against getting any kind of sort of reading tablet, because I really like the feel of like a real book. I enjoy turning the page and I like the sound of the paper and like the smell of books um, but I, and you can't ignore the fact that the convenience of having like endless amount of books in a tablet in your hand like that would be very very convenient because I have been traveling a bit this year and there was one trip I went on and I ended up taking like I took like four books with me, three of which I actually read all the way through and then left where we were and didn't bring them back because I just didn't want to carry them back and they were good but you know I didn't love them to the point where I wanted to put them you know in my collection um, and I'd bought them second hand to begin with only for like a pound or so each so I didn't mind leaving them behind but in situations like that where I know I want to do a lot of reading um, something like a Kindle would probably come in really useful so eh, that might be something that I might get even though it sort of goes against everything I believe with books <laughs> but the convenience of it you just can't knock that can you there's nothing more convenient than that especially if you if you're planning on reading a lot and when I travel I do I do plan to read a lot when I do I probably read more traveling than I do when I'm at home although the majority of Gone Girl I've read at home but I started it on a train on a very long train ride to Bristol yeah I went to Bristol a couple of weeks ago can tell you about that um yeah my cousin she was at uni there um and it was like her last year she's sort of just about to graduate in the next couple of weeks so uh i went to visit her um for the bank holiday weekend a couple of weeks ago and we went to this music festival called uh, the dot dot festival 
It was funny because it was actually on in Manchester as well, only like a day before I went to Bristol. But because I'd already decided I was going to see it in Bristol, I, I did see it in Bristol and not in Manchester. Um, but it was really good. I, I enjoyed it. It was kind of like a, a city festival, so there's different bands playing at lots of different venues throughout the city. And there were very short sets, like 20 minutes, half an hour sets. Uh, which is great because I think you can get, get a really good sense of of an artist or a band, you know, within that time and then you can decide whether you like them or you don't and it's a really healthy way of sort of discovering new people um, so I really enjoyed that and they had some headliners on as well like Temper Trap and Mystery Jets and another one um, so we went to see Temper Trap because my cousin and her friends wanted to see them so we saw them and they were good, yeah, their set was a bit longer it was like, it was like 45 minutes um, so it was quite a bit longer but that was the first time I'd ever been to Bristol and I liked it, it was a cool city um, it was definitely had like it was big enough and had the feel of a of a big city but without all the sort of crowds a lot of there wasn't much crowding like in Manchester and in London you get a lot of like crowds um when you're in public uh, particularly when you're sort of right in the heart of the city there's a lot of crowds and sometimes it can be quite claustrophobic or you know can make it can make certain some people feel you know quite anxious or panicked um but in Bristol like it definitely felt like a big city but it didn't have this crowding which I really liked um and it was very it was very like artistic which is nice too um always like a good artistic city um, there were sort of bits of it that uh, reminded me of Berlin um, just little little vibes and the way certain, certain um, street art looked it really reminded me of Berlin but I'm not sure whether I'd ever um, go back there now um, that's why I made sure to go and visit when my cousin was there because it's like you know, good opportunity to actually go. Um, but if she wasn't there, I don't, I don't know when I would have sort of gotten around to it. But I really do want to travel more around the UK because I don't think I've done it enough. Like we used to go to a lot of different places around the country when I was a kid, like on holiday. But in recent years, I've not been around. The UK that much, um, apart from like to London or to Sheffield or to Leeds, uh, they're like the main sort of places that places I would say that I visit, you know, regularly um, because I know people there and have to go for work and you know various other reasons. Um, but I've not just I've not been visiting places enough which is a shame, like I want to see more of Scotland I've only been to Ireland the once uh, which was, I went to Dublin when I was about 12 um, so I'd really like to go back to back to Ireland sometime and you know, visit Northern Ireland as well um, yeah, that would be cool, it would um, So I'm working on a couple of different videos coming out soon, a few different ideas, um, one's a bit experimental, I'm actually going to ask somebody to help me shoot it because uh, I'm, I'm going to need some help um, for it because I can't, I can't do it by myself um, and a couple of others that are a bit more 
sort of at home and similar to sort of how we're used to now in this in this setup. Um, but recently, like I did do a couple of sort of makeup related videos and I wondered, you know, what did you think about that? Um, you know, the you know, beauty and makeup is and skincare and all that kind of stuff. It, it is something that I am really interested in, but you know, I, I could, I'm very conscious of not making too many videos like that because then your channel becomes something quite different. Um, so throwing like a few, a couple in every now and again, you know, works for me and I hope, you know, you don't mind that either. Um, I'd like to spend more time doing, doing role plays. Um, I feel like I used to do a lot. I used to do like one a month, I think, but I've not been making as many recently as I have done before. So, um, I'm going to try and do more role plays. Yeah. But I'm going to go now and I hope you have a glorious Sunday evening and I will see you next week.